and welcome to Story Stop with Reading Rena. Today I have some fun stories and songs for you all about having a no good, very bad day. So let's start with our hello song and it goes like this. Wake up hands, wake up hands, wake up hands and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up hands, wake up hands, wake up and wiggle in the morning. What other parts of our body do you think we could wake up? Hmm, that's right, our feet. Okay, are you ready? Wake up feet, wake up feet, wake up feet and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up feet, wake up feet, wake up and wiggle in the morning. Excellent, good wiggling your feet. All right, what other parts of our body can we wake up and wiggle this morning? Hmm. Our hips, that's right. Are you ready? Let's wiggle those hips. Wake up hips, wake up hips, wake up hips and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up hips, wake up hips, wake up and wiggle in the morning. Good wiggling. Yeah, give it one good wiggle. All right, that was excellent. Is there one more thing you can think of that we can wake up this morning? We could wake up our eyes. That's right. Wake up eyes, wake up eyes, wake up eyes and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, good job. Wake up eyes, wake up eyes, wake up and wiggle in the morning. All right, well, we're all wiggled and woken up and ready for our very first song. So our first song is all about some monkeys and I have my little monkey friend with us today. Hello, hello, how are you? Oh, I'm really well today, are you well? Yes, I am. Okay, are you ready to jump on the bed? Oh, I love to jump on the bed. Okay, let's get out those five little monkeys. Ready? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many do we have left? One, two, three, four. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and broke his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many do we have left? One, two, three. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off, uh-oh, and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many do we have left? One, two, that's right, two. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off, uh-oh, and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many do we have left? One, we have one monkey left. One little monkey jumping on the bed. She fell off, uh oh, and broke her head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, put those monkeys straight to bed. Excellent. That was really well done. All right. But not very nice to get your head all bumped up. Oh, no. So we're going to read one of my favorite stories called Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day by Judith Bjorst. I went to sleep with gum in my mouth and now there's gum in my hair. And when I got out of bed this morning, I tripped on the skateboard by, and by mistake, I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running. And I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day.
At breakfast, Anthony found a Corvette Stingray car kit in his breakfast cereal box. Nick found a junior undercover agent code ring in his breakfast cereal box. But in my breakfast cereal box, all I found was breakfast cereal. I think I'll move to Australia. In the carpool, Mrs. Gibson let Becky have a seat by the window. Audrey and Elliot got seats by the window too. I said I was being scrunched. I said I was being smushed. I said, if I don't get a seat by the window, I think I'm going to be carsick. No one even answered. I could tell it was going to be, say it with me, a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. At school, Mrs. Dixon liked Paul's picture of the sailboat better than my picture of the invisible castle. At singing time, she said I sang too loud. At counting time, she said I left out 16. Who needs 16? I could tell it was going to be a, say it with me, terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I could tell because Paul said I wasn't his best friend anymore. He said Philip Parker was his best friend and that Albert Moyo was his next best friend and that I was only his third best friend. I hope you sit on a tack, I said to Paul. I hope the next time you get a double-decker strawberry ice cream cone, the ice cream part falls off the cone part and lands in Australia. There were two cupcakes in Philip Parker's lunch bag and Albert got a Hershey bar with almonds and Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll that had little coconut sprinkles on the top. Guess whose mother forgot to put in dessert. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. That's what it was because after school, my mom took us all to the dentist and Dr. Fields found a cavity just in me. Come back next week and I'll fix it, said Dr. Fields. Next week, I said, I'm going to Australia. On the way downstairs, the elevator door closed on my foot, and while we were waiting for Mom to go get the car, Anthony made me fall where it was muddy. And then when I started crying because of the mud, Nick said I was a crybaby. And while I was punching Nick for saying crybaby, my mom came back with the car and scolded me for being muddy and fighting. I am having a, say it with me, terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I told everybody. No one even answered. So then we went to the shoe store to buy some sneakers. Anthony chose white ones with blue stripes. Nick chose red ones with white stripes. I chose blue ones with red stripes. But then the shoe man said, we're all sold out. They made me buy plain old white ones. 
but they can't make me wear them. While we picked up my dad at the office, he said I couldn't play with his copying machine, but I forgot. He also said to watch out for the books on his desk, and I was as careful as could be, except for my elbow. He also said don't fool around with his phone, but I think I called Australia. My dad said, please don't pick him up anymore. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. There were lima beans for dinner. I hate lima beans. There was kissing on TV. I hate kissing. My bath was too hot. I got soap in my eyes. My marble went down the drain and I had to wear my railroad train pajamas. I hate my railroad train pajamas. When I went to bed, Nick took back the pillow he said I could keep and the Mickey Mouse nightlight burned out and I bit my tongue. The cat wants to sleep with Anthony and not with me. It has been a, say it with me, terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Mom says some days are just like that. even in Australia. Hopefully he has a better day tomorrow when he wakes up, right? Okay, so I have a couple of songs for you that use a scarf. Do you have a scarf handy? Okay, you can grab your scarf and we're going to ride on an elevator. So this one, get our scarf and we're going to go do low down and we go like this. Let's go riding on an elevator, elevator, elevator. Let's go riding on an elevator. Come along with me. First floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor, fifth floor, way above your head, that's right, and down, 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 down. Oh, let's go riding on an elevator, elevator, elevator. Let's go riding on an elevator, come along with me. First floor, second floor, third floor, fourth floor, fifth floor, way above your head. And down, 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 down. Wow, that was so fantastic. All right, so I have another song for you about elevators. Oh, the city is great and the city is grand. There are lots of tall buildings on a little piece of land. And we live way up on the 52nd floor. And this is what we do when we open the door. We take the elevator up. We take the elevator down. We take the elevator up. We take the elevator down. We take the elevator up. We take the elevator down. And we turn around. Oh, the city is great and the city is grand. There are lots of tall buildings on a little piece of land. And we live way up on the 52nd floor. And this is what we do when we open the door. We take the elevator up. Can you jump? 
We take the elevator down, way down. We take the elevator up, jump way up high. We take the elevator down. We take the elevator up, jump, jump. We take the elevator down and we turn around. All right, that was fantastic. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to sing our goodbye song now. Everybody wave and sing goodbye. Everybody wave and sing goodbye. Everybody wave and sing goodbye. Sing goodbye, goodbye. How about we clap? Everybody clap and sing goodbye. Everybody clap and sing goodbye. Everybody clap and sing goodbye. Sing goodbye, goodbye. How about we do some more of that wiggling? Are you ready? Everybody wiggle and sing goodbye. Everybody wiggle and sing goodbye. Everybody wiggle, come on, really wiggle. And sing goodbye. Sing goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. We'll see you all next time.